here the five reasons why I hate backpacking. Reason number one, constant packing and unpacking. Here's the scenario. You take a flight, you pack, then arrive, unpack. Go to the next town, pack. You left your charger way down below in your backpack, you dump the whole bag out to get that charger. You have a headache and you do the same thing to get that painkiller, which by the way, was in your packet this whole time, so there was no need to look for it in your bag. I like packing when I'm just about to embark on a new journey, but when I'm going to visit my 11th town, then it doesn't strike me as exciting. Even though I try to stay organized and have everything as nicely packed as possible, I still lose things somewhere down the way, especially if I'm in a hostel and don't have a proper dresser or a closet to keep my stuff in. Commonly lost items are toothbrushes, earrings, rings, hats, and underwear. Reason number two, dealing with airports. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I hate airports. The whole check-in, security, boarding, waiting, turbulence, border check, crying babies and snoring people, I hate everything about it. The only thing I love is looking out of the window and enjoying beautiful views from above. Also, my Georgian passport is not so recognized by most countries and I always get double, triple checked in the airports. And especially after COVID, everything is so much more complicated. You never know what form you're missing or what paper you forgot this time. In this airport, for example, I was flying from San Juan, Puerto Rico to Santa Marta, Colombia. I risked it here a little bit because I only had a return ticket since I had 90 days in Colombia and I didn't know where I would end up. Avianca Airlines made me buy a return ticket. I didn't even know exactly what I was buying since I was in a rush. Then they made me to put everything in my main bag, including my passport and my phone. Even my microphone and tripod, which I have attached on a backpack sleeve for convenience so I can easily reach them. Then they made me to pay $100 five dollars and finally i was asked to fill out an immigration form without which i couldn't enter colombia the system online would not work for an hour it was so stressful i couldn't help but cry fighting against any kind of authority sometimes makes me very vulnerable and an airport authority is not an exception i don't know what's the solution here if you know teach me this was probably the worst airport experience i don't want to travel right now at all all I want to do is snuggle in my bed and just like forget about this whole hustle. Reason number three, terrible back pain. This is pretty obvious, I think. After carrying my clothes, laptop, drone, shoes, chargers, and some hygiene products with me, my backpack gets really heavy and I feel pain in my lower and upper back. If you wonder why I don't use a carry-on bag on wheels, it's because in most cases, dragging them down in nature is impossible. You can't hike or walk long distances with them. And they make my hand tingle, which is super uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? I tried to do some yoga targeting my spine and also some self-massage helps a lot. I know it sounds very lonely and depressing, but it helps. <laughs> Doing Camino de Santiago and walking for a couple of weeks with my backpack was the most challenging, as you might imagine. Reason number four, constant frustrations. You just have to be ready for frustrations, for planes to be canceled, buses to be delayed, trains to be overbooked, Google Maps having wrong information about this or that establishment, events getting rescheduled, not having phone service, and just things not working properly. Sometimes people disappoint you a lot, taxi drivers who try to scam you, waiters charging you the wrong amount because you look different, and fellow travelers being mean or unthoughtful of you. I think it will never come naturally for me to not feel frustration and anger when things go wrong, but I'm learning to let it go as fast as possible and just don't be consumed by the anger when all I ever want to do is to enjoy my time traveling. And finally, the reason number five and the most difficult one for me is saying goodbye to the beautiful people you meet down the road. I hate, hate, hate this part. You know I love to travel slow and to stay in one place for a long time. This means that I not only get to know the culture better, but also the people I meet. Most people I meet are nice and open-minded. I feel comfortable hanging out with the majority of travelers I meet down the road, but there's always that one person I instantly fall in love with and would like to stay friends with. 
If you remember Ana, for example, from Puerto Rico, she was that kind of person, or Diego from the Camino. A few of my couch surfing hosts were my people and I do stay in touch with them as much as I can. Sometimes you get lucky and you both end up traveling together or visiting each other in other places, but that's very rare. And if you romantically fall in love with someone and have to say goodbye to them in a month or so, that's emotionally draining and pretty hard to handle. So yeah, saying goodbye to places and especially to people is really, really difficult for me. Well, these were all my five reasons. If you want to learn about 101 reasons why I love to backpack, let me know. I'll make that video too. I love you very much. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. You guys take care. Meanwhile, Bye.